So in the previous video, we've gotten this far. Um, we've gotten down to writing 7x minus 16 over x minus 3x minus 2 as a pair of partial fractions being added together, a over x minus 3 plus b over x minus 2. And then we've multiplied both sides by x minus 3 times x minus 2, and we have reduced it to this line here. So we then went on in the previous video to use the substitution method. Um, at this point, I now want to try and use the method of comparing coefficients. Okay, So um, this is how it works. Multiplying out the right-hand side, I'm going to have ax minus 2a from that bracket and bx minus 3b from that bracket. Now the next stage I want to do is I want to bring like terms together. So the x is together, okay? So I've got the ax plus bx. So if I factor out the x, I can write that as a plus bx. And I've got the minus 2a and the minus 3b left over. So I've now got all the x's together and I've got the constant terms together. Now, if the left-hand side has got to be precisely the same as the right-hand side, that must mean that the coefficient of the x must be the same. So a plus b would have to be 7. And the minus 2a minus 3b would have to be minus 16. So we now have two equations, don't we? Okay. So we've got two equations and two unknowns. And so we've now got simultaneous equations. Now if I multiply number 1 by 2, we're going to get 2a plus 2b equals 14. Let's call that equation 3. So that now, if I add equation 2 and equation 3 together, 2a minus 2a, they cancel. 2b minus 3b is minus b. 14 minus 16 is minus 2. So that means that b would have to be 2. So if I substitute that back into number 1, then a would have to have been 5. And so you can then finish off by writing that 7x minus 16 over x minus 3, x minus 2 is the same as a, so 5 over x minus 3, plus b, which is 2, over x minus 2. Okay? And this is the method of comparing coefficients. Now, either method um, will work. Uh, it's really your choice about which one you go for. But of the two, you know where I stand, OK? Um, even with a basic example like this, um, the work can get a little messy, OK? So that's why I'm going to be doing the rest of these videos using the substitution method.